And today, uh, I want to bring you guys along. I'm going to go hit the gas station. I'm going to top off with E85, get us back to the uh, E40 that I wanted to be at. Since fueling up last time, my ethanol content has dropped a little bit, so it's at about 34 right now. So I'm going to add a couple of gallons, get us back up to 40, maybe just a hair over 40. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go do a couple of polls and data log them. Uh, I've got a, a dyno session that's going to be coming up, and so I want to make sure that we've got a good baseline and that everything looks good going into that, that we don't have any problems, that the, uh, the logs look good, fuel trims, boost, all looks good, and maybe make some adjustments going into it to get us where uh, we want to be for a starting point for the dyno runs. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys how I data log on the JB4. Pretty easy. And so uh, we'll walk through all of that. We'll go out, go get a couple of runs in, and show you guys what I do, how I mail them off to my tuner, Jesse, and then uh, what I expect back from that. And so I'll kind of walk through and talk you through a little bit of the history of how that's all gone. So let's go. Okay, so I just topped off. I'm gonna drive around a little bit to uh, just see where the E content averages out, where it normalizes and then we'll kind of go from there. Uh, but we're gonna go down here, jump on the interstate, go up, and then we're gonna go out uh, to a closed course, of course, uh, where we will get some pulls in. Uh, so for today, there's no need, uh, there's a lot of times that I will pair this up with a draggy pull and do either a 60 to 130 or 40 to 100 draggy pull so that we can see exactly uh, what we've done how it compares to the times and kind of kind of evens things out. But for today, we're just looking to make sure that we have uh, solid logs, that fuel trims look good, boost levels look good, everything looks good, and that it's running right. Uh, see if there's any little tweaks we wanna make before we get it onto the dyno. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what we're, what we're planning for today. So, so one of the other things I wanted to show you guys while we were out today is why I'm not doing 40 to 100 pulls anymore, at least not until I get the new wheels and tires set up. I'm currently on uh, 285, 35, 19. Uh, they are the Pilot Sport AS3 Plus. So they're all seasons. And so they've got a 500 tread wear. Uh, so I'll be swapping them out for a different set of tires, wider, softer, and should be a little bit better for doing pulls and uh, should hook up a whole lot better. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys why uh, I no longer do pulls from 40. So we'll get this thing up to speed here. I'll show you guys exactly why. Okay, so we're in third and uh, we'll hit it. Okay, so a good spot to do a pull is on on-ramp and getting onto uh, the interstate. And so that's what we're gonna take a look at today and uh, show you guys exactly how I do a log. So I've got my JB4 pulled up here. I've got it in Sport Plus. I've got it in VSC off. Uh, and then I'm gonna go into manual so that I can roll into a gear. I don't wanna be in a gear that I smash it right away and get loose, so I'm gonna roll into it. And then uh, we do wanna be wide open throttle while we're recording. And so uh, right here, I've got the JB4 pulled up. Down at the bottom is start logging, so I'm gonna hit start logging. And now we can go ahead and go. Wait till we 
get right around this corner where we can really get onto it. Okay, so now that I'm done, what we can do is take a look at the log. So we go in here and it's got the log uh, for today. So we can click on this and it asks me kind of what I want. Uh, and since, I mean, if we wanted to, we could take a look at it and it's gonna be, it's gonna tell me I've got to rotate it around. And so here you can see kind of what it looks like. Uh, not a lot, you can really decipher from this. You really want to look at the uh, graph or the, uh, the Excel version of it when you're really going through all the numbers. But what we do want to do is we want to email it off. So it's really this simple. I pull it up here, I hit email, type in who I'm going to send it to, hit send, and that's it. And then I wait for a reply back. I let my tuner know. I let Jesse know that I've sent something and he sends me back either revised or everything is good. And that's that. So there you guys go. That's how easy it is to do a log with the draggy and send it out to your tuner for uh, for review, revision. And then once it comes back, you just go in and you physically enter in the parameters that they send you. Uh, it's pretty simple, relatively easy, pretty quick and painless. Uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. If you haven't done so before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. It costs you absolutely nothing. So go do it. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.